Hi, I'm Paul Cullen. Welcome to the market at Paul's Kitchen. Today, we're going to be making some awesome drinks with my friend Rob Bagley, one of the best mixologists in our whole area. Welcome, Rob. Hey, happy to be here, Paul. Yeah. So, mixologist, when did that start for you? Uh, that actually started a little bit later in life for me, uh, my later 20s. Um, and that was because I had a couple friends in the restaurant industry that sure. uh, said I had the personality and that I would uh, do just fine, but I didn't know anything about cocktails, so. Except um, for. Except for drinking, side. yeah. Right, exactly. I was uh, better at drinking cocktails than I were making them. Right, right. And um, so they gave me a chance, and I took that and ran with it. And that was at Bramble, That was at Bramble, Bramble and Bryan, yeah. yep. And uh, so the greatest thing about them was they gave me creative freedom to sure. do what I wanted. Yeah. Everyone asked me how I got so good at it, and they didn't taste the thousand drinks that I made that didn't make the right, cut. Exactly. You know, yeah, yeah. so. And then Bramble and Bryan was a, was a local uh, sourced uh, uh, fine dining restaurant, right? Yes, yeah. locally sourced and or high quality ingredients, For which sure. um, exposed me to a lot of different flavors and ingredients um, to put into drinks, and they really let me run with it. Right. And then after that, I went to Mishy's, who did the same thing, yep, exactly. and I started picking chef-driven restaurants um, to kind of expand my knowledge. Exactly, and uh, your latest job was with uh, Harbor yes. uh, in Lewis, so, uh, great friends of ours, Lorraine and Gary Papp. And, uh, and they gave you the, the complete uh, uh, the bar to yourself. Basically. Yeah, they brought yeah. me in to yeah. uh, help design their bar program um, with a few things in mind to cater to the people of Lewis. Uh, one of those being non-alcoholic cocktails, right. which was really great. Right. Um, but also developing a really classic, fun bar program that the people of Lewis would enjoy. For sure. And I got to say about Rob, uh, I'm not just saying because he's standing here, but but I, but I love his drinks because you can't taste one thing over the top, especially alcohol, uh, which sometimes is good, sometimes is bad. Yeah. <laughs> Depending. Depending on who you are. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, but I love the uh, balance. As a chef myself, I think that's what we strive for is a balance. So, yeah. Uh, so cool. What are you going to make for us today? Uh, today we are going to make an old fashioned featuring this fabulous vinegar. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's called Paul's, oh, Paul's Rock and vinegar. vinegar. Could that be Paul Cullen? <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> uh, so this is a peach version, uh, the peach balsamic, and with uh, peach season coming up, oh God, uh, what yeah. better way to celebrate? Right. So uh, just so you know, my vinegar is from Modena, Italy, where it's supposed to be from. And uh, this one's awesome because uh, the, because it's real syrupy. And mm -hmm. uh, the reason it is is because they use 60% grape must. Huh. Most vinegars are like 25. Ah, I got yeah, it. So nice and thick. And, and then they use organic uh, fruits there also. So, yeah, so we're yeah. going to use a half an ounce of Paul's Rock and yeah, Peach so vinegar. Not much, right? Not, not much. much. No, because it is thick. It's got a lot of flavor in there. You don't even need any additional sugar. Um, and we're also going to use these amarena cherries, which right. are wild Italian cherries. And they're sour. sour they are cherries. sour cherries, cool. yes. So, so normally, if you didn't have vinegar, you'd probably use a simple syrup, maybe? Uh, or just um, like packet sugar. Okay, yeah. right, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just a little bit of club soda. And we're going to muddle this. So make like a little, call it a slurry, just so you can get it all mixed up so that when we add the alcohol, It'll blend a little bit better. So you're pretty much pul 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 pulverizing the cherry. Pul pulverize. Pul <laughs> there you go with your puns again. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're going to add uh, one quarter of a orange. I don't muddle the orange um, heavily. I only press it once, release the juice, and that way you don't release a lot of the bitter pith flavors. Right. Yeah. Then you don't have a bunch of the yeah. rind and stuff in your and then we're gonna just add two dashes of classic Angostura bitters. And then we're gonna finish it with our three quarts bourbon. Yep, so three quart bourbon is uh, uh, Neil Gerardo, uh, husband of and guitar player of and producer of Pat Benatar. And uh, he has his own bourbon out. We're hoping that we're gonna have him here soon. If we do, will you join us and make some cocktails? Oh, I would love to. Yeah, that'd be great. In the room at Cedar Grove, me and uh, Neil playing some guitar together would be pretty cool. So two ounces of that, and then we'll add our ice. And we're gonna stir it in the glass. Um, this will help blend the so flavors the together. Stirred, not shaken. Stirred, not shaken, <laughs> yes. And the of bond. this will help with the dilution a little bit, spread those flavors out over the palate and make it nice and cool. So is that the vinegar given that more of a Oh, dark that dark color? color? Yeah, yeah, that's all vinegar. That's beautiful. And nice. that is. That is it? The, Can I try it? Yeah. Cheers, everybody. What's great about these vinegars is they're pretty much plug and play for 
any old fashion. You can use about a half ounce of the blood orange, the pear, or the, um, we're using peach today in, uh, as the seasons go along. And you can follow that recipe for uh, all year. Yeah, that's delicious. I'm gonna take one more sip because <laughs> I can. Definitely get the peach, uh, but not over the top. And then the bourbon, the smokiness of the bourbon also, that is delicious. Well, Rob, thanks a lot, man. Hey, thanks Great for to having me. Yeah. yeah, man.